slow? Everything okay. seems so slow. Yes, yeah, sir. If you have one more person, then it goes faster. Yeah. If you had one more person, it will go faster? Yes, sir. Eduardo, no wonder you've gone so old. You've aged, waiting for the last main course. <laughs> huh? While the kitchen is struggling to cook the food, Gordon also sees a problem with the delivery. Another departure. Holy crap. I'm not aware of any particular reason why we serve on cards. I thought people got pushed into a, right. a mortuary on trolleys, no? Right. Not serving food. Oh, <laughs> would you like to hold the plate by the hand, or would you want to push a trolley all day long? I would rather hold them by my hand. When the orders finally make it to the tables, customers find it's not worth the wait. This is rare. It's rare. It's rare. It's rare. Medium. Bloody rare. Yeah, I might have to send this one back. I'll be right medium. back. Please. The New York's supposed to be medium. Huh? The New York's supposed to be medium. What is it? Medium rare, right? They said Ticket medium. says medium. Well, okay. They said medium when I was here. Why don't you just put it under the grill, Pinto, as if we're in a position to argue? My things come back, it doesn't mean I'm a bad cook. And it's not just Chef Pinto's cooking that catches Gordon's eye. What are these up here for? They're not even seasoned asparagus, are they? No, not right now. They're very expensive. They're very expensive, so why have you got them on? A veggie of the day. A veggie of the day? Yes. Aren't yes. you bothered about the cost? Yes, it comes from the different part of the world, Chef. We, we can get it. It comes from the different part of the world. Are you listening to this? Yes, Chef. It's the most expensive vegetable on the market. You want that? And it's out of season. And you just put them on four dishes. This is unbelievable. Tonight, I'm starting to see new cooking techniques that I've never, ever seen before. Slow thaw, fresh frozen, but what's becoming really clear is that he seriously is taking this lovely couple for a ride, and it's got to stop. Is this true about Pinto? He's telling you he's screwing you. Does that, could that be? I hope not. We don't know our ass from a hole in the ground. I'm so scared.